All the news this morning is about brown fat. What on earth is brown fat? To join us to uh, figure this out this morning, Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. The, the, it was in all the news yesterday. Brown fat is good for you. What is brown fat? That's right. And this was in the Bible, so to speak, of American uh, medicine. We are all born with it. Brown fat is literally brown compared to the yellow fat that we know we have all oh. over our body. It is works as a furnace. It generates an enormous amount of energy, burns a tremendous amount of calories in road and in human infants, it keeps us warm. Is now, this baby fat? Not in not the way exactly. that you think okay. of baby fat, right. but it's found to be really mm. a furnace for burning calories. So now we have to figure mm. out how to reactivate it. Okay. We just had the graphic up, and it's really important because we talked endlessly about especially belly fat and it's being the precursor for heart disease and all these other kinds of things. This brown fat, where is it located? Well, in the belly fat is in our belly, mm -hmm. obviously. Brown fat is now found in the, right above the collarbone, next to the spine, and in the upper back right. in very, very small amounts. This kind of was found... By, by fluke, actually, mm -hmm. and we now have to figure out how to activate right. it and therefore burn more calories. Does everybody have it? We all have it. It's just in small amounts. They right. discovered it in rodents, actually, mm -hmm. when they were exposed to very cold temperatures, 61 to 66 degrees. And it was in a, it literally acted as a furnace then in these rodents and then even in some studies that they did with, with humans, Correct. right? Correct. And, and up until now, the treatments for obesity usually targeted increasing our metabolism or decreasing appetite. This might be a boon for increasing the metabolism. So how did they make it. that jump? How did they make that jump? How did they figure out how to isolate a fat like this? Can you grow it? Can you artificially stimulate it? What would what would be the that, key here? Part of it might be environmental exposure. So they found that both in rodents and humans mm -hmm. who are exposed to cold temperatures, it kind of stimulates and upregulates this fat. So they're going to be looking at genetic engineering. They're going to be looking at environmental factors. Right. We'll see. So we should all just stand on the plaza all winter long without coats on. Well, we have to see. Some people get a rev in their appetite if they're exposed to uh, cold temperatures. Let's so. see. I, there's always something, right? Dr. Ashton, thank you so much.